I heard you might be working on a movie. So how's that going? Good. I have that same character on a comic book right there, right? Right. Um, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, absolutely. Having a great time. That is, a, it's a dream of mine to be able to to work on that. I've loved those characters since I was little. It's such an awesome world to be in. The script is awesome. The characters are brilliant. I'm super excited. I'm obviously very happy now that the the writer strike has resolved in such a good way and 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 we're we're you know able to reunite with Josh Friedman our amazing screenwriter and and uh and then you know I'm really hoping for a fair and equitable resolution to the actor strike soon too keeping our fingers crossed but we're 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 going. We're a snowball heading downhill. It's awesome. It's it's got a lot of momentum. It's really fun. Just real quick uh because I'm not asking you any spoiler type things but Assuming the SAG strike gets resolved, is the hope to be filming in early next year? Yes, we are going to definitely go uh, in front of cameras next year, um, probably the spring. Are you London or Atlanta? London. Pinewood. Yeah. Uh, Land that's, I, I was going to say, I think Marvel's doing a lot of stuff at that studio. They are. Yeah. It's a, it's a great place. And again, talk about a wonderful old studio like Toho walking around and imagining, you know, Bugsy Malone and, and uh, whipped cream machine guns. You know, I'm excited. I can't wait. One of the things about FF is you have some characters that have unique abilities. And I would imagine you have been, even while the strike's been on, you've been probably working with VFX companies to try to develop those you know what i mean like how is how is that going to look on screen so how how has it been going looking at vfx for some of these characters and finding the way you want to bring these things to life we have been nonstop, you know, uh, despite the strikes. Yes, we've been working with, you know, VFX and with production design and building our world. And that's been incredibly exciting. And, you know, how do you translate those uh, skills into live action in dynamic ways? Um, because some things that work beautifully in John Byrne and Jack Kirby are a little tougher when you're filming them. Um, how do you make sure that things are uh, exciting, but also grounded in a, in a scientific thing, which is also part of the, the Fantastic Four that I love. Um, and we've, we've, I'm, there's some stuff I'm super excited about and uh, yeah, I can't say too much, you know, tune in, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Bel believe me, I'm trying to skate around the line of what is allowed versus, you know, I'm not tr I'm not trying to get in anybody in any trouble. Um, but obviously, people are very, very excited to know when you're going to announce casting. So what can you tease people about when when do you think fans are going to find out like information? Hard to say. Like I said, we're in the middle of a, of a SAG strike and I'm, you know, keeping my fingers crossed that they get a great deal really soon and, and we can go back. And then uh, once that's resolved, you know, um, there'll be a plan at that point. Um, but we're, you know, I can't sure. say too much, but there will be an announcement at some point. I know the Internet is is very excited to find out and I'm excited to share it. I just can't do it yet. One of my last things, I love IMAX and the large screen format. And I and it shows what what Nolan did with Oppenheimer was just amazing and getting people so excited to go see IMAX 70. How much is that something that have you discussed with Marvel being like, hey, look, can we shoot these sequences in IMAX? Can we use IMAX cameras for the whole thing? Like how much is that sort of permeated into your head watching what Nolan did with Oppenheimer? What Nolan did with Oppenheimer was extraordinary. What Denis Villeneuve has done with Dune is extraordinary. I mean, the format is immersive in the best way. I love seeing things in IMAX. I go whenever I can. Um, and I think that the world of the Fantastic Four would absolutely lend itself to that kind of immersive experience. <laughs> so do you think you're going to have some IMAX in this movie or? Um, I, th I think, yes. If I were a betting man, I think I would, I would, I would do that. Buy your IMAX stock right now. Yeah. Right. <laughs> I, I appreciate that. Um, my last thing for you, uh, you mentioned that the script is awesome. Uh, I think that what is it, what can you tease people, if anything, about how this film might be different than previous Marvel films? Um, how are you spinning the, you know what I mean? Like, what's your take on this? And how will it be different than maybe the other things that have come before? It's different in so many ways. I wish I wish I could be specific. I wish I could say more. Um, but we are doing things very different from a story standpoint, from an approach to the filmmaking standpoint that really fits the material. And I, I just I wish I could say more. I would love to, but I can't. Um, but I, I, I think it's going to be 
unlike anything you've seen before and certainly unlike anything at Marvel that you've seen before.